Weebly offers a full-featured yet really easy to use blog. So let's look at how we would add a new post and some of the features that come with that. To begin with, we'll navigate to our blog page and to create a new post, we'll click the new post button in the lower right. You can fill in a title, we'll call this test post, oops, test post. And then you can begin to drag elements in from the left-hand toolbar, just like you would if you were building a page. So I'm going to grab a text module and pull it into my blog post. And I'm going to grab an image module. I plan to put a photo in there. And then I'm also going to grab a read more break. What we want to display on the blog page is a summary of several blog posts. And we need to build that summary and then put the rest of the post into the area below the read more link. And I'll show you what that looks like. So after our read more um, module, we are going to add another text module. And then if you wanted to get fancy, you could put in a button, a divider. You can use any of these elements on, in the left toolbar inside a blog post. So really a lot of functionality. I've got some text saved to my clipboard. So in this top text area, I'm just going to paste that in. And if I had uh, more text then fit in that top part if I wanted to go on and use as much space as was needed I could go ahead and add additional text below that so we have text in the top content area we have a read more module which I'll show you what that does and then we have text in the lower area and then I also wanted to add a photo so I'm going to click on the icon for the image element and I like to drag and drop stuff, so I'm just going to drag an image in from my desktop. It's kind of gigantic, so let's scroll down a bit. We'll grab that resizing handle, little blue handle in the lower right of the image, and we'll resize our photograph. And you may recall from the image video, you can click on a graphic and get this context-sensitive menu with some nice features. So the last part to preparing your blog post is to set up some special features for it. So over in the lower left corner, we're going to click post options. In this pop-up menu, we can choose whether we want the post to be public immediately or go live at a later time. We can choose whether we want to allow comments or not, or if we want the comments to require moderation that is, be approved before they display. And most importantly, we can add categories. These categories are the ways in which your blog posts are organized in the sidebar. So you want them to be the groups of categories that your viewers might be interested in. So uh, I have a previous post listed with the tag press releases. I'm gonna add one that's um, tips and tricks. And then once you type in a new category, you just make sure that you come down below it with your cursor and click on it to actually apply it to this post. The secret draft link is kind of a cool feature. You can send a link to a friend. Perhaps you have someone who's helping you with uh, checking your spelling or other editing features. You can send that to them prior to making the post live and they can give you their feedback. And you can also click advanced to fill in some search engine optimization features. So uh, that's a great um, aspect to this area. But let's say that we're happy with what we have here. So I'm just gonna close that post options menu. And then I'm gonna come over to the upper right corner and click post. That makes your brand new blog post live on your website. We can click on the link that's provided to have a look at it. Now this is the full view of your new post. So let's look at what that looks like on the blog page. I'm gonna click blog in the menu. And here you see our new post with the toucan with that read more link. When we click read more, we go to the full post. So that read more link gives us a nice summary for our blog page. And you can see a previous post that I've done uh, with that same read more link. 
Now where that category shows up is on the uh, right hand column. So you see my list of press releases and it looks like our new one isn't, ad isn't showing up quite yet. Sometimes things do take a few minutes to show up in Weebly. So I'm going to go back into the site creator and that is a quick look at how you would create and edit a blog post.